Hello everybody, this is String Gamer here to kick off the Spooky Showdown Tournament. Yes, the Halloween special is back for 2022, and we have eight spookylicious dinosaurs, most of which were picked by you lovely people. I read all your comments, so let's quickly go through all our combatants, shall we? So, up first we have Gorgosaurus. I, 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 like, the, I like the suggestion of Gorgosaurus. Uh, Gygus. I think Gygus was in last year, but... Is making a return this year. Everyone seems to like Gygus for the Halloween tournament. <laughs> yeah, the fire dinosaurs will see lots of play. But we have three, and our third one is Acrocamphosaurus. Again, Alpha Acro featured quite a bit last year, so we're going with OG Acro this year. And it is orange like a pumpkin, so I can justify adding it. Okay, we do have some water dinosaurs. We got Amargosaurus. Now, this one's actually was actually a really good suggestion, because in the anime, the Amargosaurus was mistaken for the Loch Ness Monster, so yeah. Uh, Nemectosaurus, because... It's a dubious genus, and it's it's kind of like salami it crossed with a goat. Well, a very odd suggestion. And then I added a cup of myself, so we can have like different elements. So I had so I added wind, lightning, and earth. So Panoplosaurus, because is blood red, is basically red. <laughs> uh, Monoclonius is kind of like a shapeshifter, because it's like a, one of the Centrosaurid brothers. But I like I picked Monoclonius because it has more darker colours. I mean, Centrosaurus it could have worked, so it was obviously red and that. Uh, and Eucentrosaurus was kind of a joke. And then I went with Euteraptor, purple, yellowy colours, kind of spooky theme colours. So yeah, Euteraptor, and it's Euteraptor, and it's Euteraptor, Euteraptor's awesome. So yeah, that is our eight combatants. Originally it was going to be 16, but I didn't have time for a 16 team tournament, so we're going to do eight instead. Now to put all these guys in their respective matchups, which will go here. We will have the first round of matchups in this video as well, so if you want to go to them, to their matchups, you can skip all this bit. Right, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm sure you know the drill. One to eight, going from left to right. Let's get started. Ooh, Gorgosaurus up first. And his opponent shall be number six. Ooh, so it's Gorgosaurus going up against Euteraptor. Right, up next we have number four. So that's Nemegdosaurus. His opponent shall be... Ooh, ooh, we got the two water dinosaurs going at it. Nemegdosaurus against Amargosaurus. Okay, moving on to our third matchup, we will see, ooh, Acrocamphosaurus taking on the Panoplosaurus. Ooh, so that leaves Gygus going up against Monoclonius. So I'll just quickly do it to see who's left and who's right. So Gygus will go on the left and Monoclonius will go on the right. Right, they are, these are our four matchups, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we have got the Gorgosaurus. The Fierce, is it? Fierce? Yeah, I think it's Fierce Lizard. Well, it's a ferocious beast anyway, that's why he's in this tournament. In the blue corner, we got the little Euteraptor here. This tiny terror. Well, I wouldn't say it's that tiny. It's just one of the bigger, one of the bigger animals, but it's still kind of tiny. <laughs> All right, we'll see the tiny, medium-sized terror looking to shred its opponents to ribbons with its mighty claws. But it will have a tight disadvantage here. In fact, it's probably going to get its ass kicked in this tournament because it's all the fire dinosaurs. Ooh, a crit off the bat from the go. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at that. And a volcano burst to boot. Not the start you'd want if you're a Euteraptor. And to add insult to injury, Dino Illusion doesn't get triggered. However, Hurricane Beat does. So yeah, same as usual. Best of three. Winner goes through. Loser loses. Yeah. Oops. Done it again. Done, done again. Ooh, you trapped again a crit there and a vital Lily Encure. Uh, I will point out that this will be the last mini tournament I do this year. And that is down to me planning and preparing for 2023. Here comes a Venom Fang. So yeah, this is gonna be the last mini tournament I do until well until Oh that was cool, that was cool animation, and I jumped over it. Until Christmas, I should say. I wanna do like the Christmas cracker like I always do. 
But yeah, the reason, main reason for that is because something big is on the horizon. Something very big is on the horizon. The 2023. And you'll find out what that thing is in about, well, in about a month. Just over a month. Anyway, back to this, and it's Gorgosaurus taking a 1-0 lead. Let's not count Uteraptor out yet, though. He can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Right, round two. Will the Gorgosaurus continue to dominate with its fiery breath? Or will the Uteraptor start to sink his claws in? Bum, 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 bum. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise for Gorgosaurus to win, because, as I said, it does have type advantage. But Uteraptor's always been a decent win dinosaur. Ooh, he gets the first hit. Good start from the Ute. And I think, yeah, I think I gave this dude attack type as well, so... You never know, you never know. <laughs> oh no, it's not, it's Blunder type. Oh, well, there's a Lillian Cure and a Crit. This is a much better performance from Uteraptor. And look at how the Gorgosaurus doesn't have an answer yet. Okay, yeah, there it is. You are at the even in the even in the score. <laughs> I like a word malfunction then. <laughs> right, you know what this means, don't you? It all comes down to this deciding round. Right, the, <laughs> I lost track where I was. I thought it was a new match, but no. Right, the deciding round between these two. We're on the beach. Well, it's not really the. Well, it's actually not a bad day today, but we're heading into winter. You don't usually spend time on the beach. Unless you're in Australia. Oh, that's a tie. Tie suit to suit the Gorg. Oosh! For the blunder type effect there coming from Uteraptor. And a crit coming from Uteraptor. Can he do it? Can this little purple Uteraptor do it? One crit will win it for him. Ooh, but it's a crit from the Gorg. Oh, look at that, his counter type. Big damage done to the Uteraptor. And all of a sudden, his lead is gone. And now it's Gorgosaurus on the brink of winning. Oh, it's a tie. One tie will end it. The odds are in Gorgie's favor. But it's the Uteraptor pulling away with the win. And giving the Gorgosaurus the scare of a lifetime. By beating it. And it is Uteraptor going through to the semis. Well done to the... Well done to the Uteraptor. Right, let's move on to our second matchup. Okay then, in the red corner, we got the obscurity of the water dinosaurs, the Nemectosaurus. The um, skinned sauropod with a little bit of a tan on it. Not very widely used amongst the Dinosaur King peeps, but it's going to see play in this tournament. But in the blue corner, we have a far more popular dinosaur in a Margosaurus. The, the Loch Ness Monster Imposter. Looking to win, looking to win, this, looking to win this tournament. And I'm sure it will fancy his chances against all the fire dinosaurs as well, should he win this match. And yes, we're using Dr. Taylor because he kind of went all the way to Scotland to get try and catch the Loch Ness Monster. So they kind of have beef. Oh, that's the time. Yes, this Nemectosaurus is Lucky 7 type. Ooh, a Margie Wargie gets the first hit. Attack boost to come as well. Well, we saw how effective a Margosaurus can be in my big tournament earlier. Well, last year now. <laughs> it wasn't earlier this year, it was last year. Oh, well, that's game over. Game over for Nemectosaurus. This tragedy of the sphere is pretty much going to kill it. Boosh! Yep, there it is. Nighty night, and that's a 1 0 lead for a Margosaurus. Quicker than a ghost disappears into a vacuum cleaner, a Margosaurus is 1 0 up. 
Right, on to round two. Right, round two. I wonder if this round will be quicker than the first round. I doubt it, but you never know. Especially where that souped up crit of a Margosaurus is. Although, we, we, don't, we can't discount the polished salmon. Let's see what it can do. Okay, maybe we can count out the polished salmon. And it's a Margosaurus doing the polishing. Oh, look at that. Well, it, does, it ain't going to need it at this point. One hit's going to kill it. Okay, no crit this time. But the Mechnosaurus at least got a hit. Ooh. Landing a crit, are we? Making things interesting. The Mechnosaurus is certainly not going down without a fight. Okay, now it's going down. A Margosaurus. Well, it took a beating this time. Oh, it didn't kill it. Aqua Vortex coming in. Can the Mechdosaurus turn this around? Well, he's got the upper hand here because a tie on you'll get a hit and a hit on you'll get a hit. So the odds are in his favor here. Ooh. It's Quetzalcoatlus coming down for a skydive. Flap, flap, flap. Oh, the, the pain in the ass, Quetzal. It's a pain in the ass because I couldn't get any good screenshots of the bloody thing. Oh, okay, there it is. I tell you what, though, Nemegdosaurus put up a fight there. But Amargosaurus just hung on to get the 2 0 win and go through to the semis. Right, that's Utoraptor and Amargosaurus through. Let's find out who will be joining them in this next matchup. Right then, in the red corner, we have got the Acrocanthosaurus. Our orange volcanic dinosaur here. Doesn't really fit on the beach. Well, actually, it kind of does. Kind of suits the beach environment, I suppose. Acrocanthosaurus, quite strong. However, in the blue corner, we've got the bloodified dinosaur, the Panoplosaurus. The embodiment of blood clotting. Yeah. <laughs> Can Panoplosaurus do well in this as well? It's got a lot of strength to it. Got a big amount of oomph. Acrocanthosaurus will have to watch out. Otherwise, he'll end up turning red like Panoplosaurus did. Of course, his red will come from blood. Oosh! Panoplosaurus strikes first. Ooh, it's a tie. Another time. In fact, both of these dudes got some good, got decent crits. Ooh, Acrocanthosaurus striking back. Getting off a defense boost as well. This Acro is defense type. No Flare Sword, however. Ooh, but Panoplosaurus gets the next hit with a Tappy Jara dive to come. It's a Quake Saber. He's gonna cut the Ac Acro down the side. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. Down goes Acrocanthosaurus, and there's a 1 0 lead for Panoplosaurus. Right, let's not count our Acro out yet. He should, he might be able to turn this around, so let's see if he can. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena this time. Can Acrocanthosaurus come back into this match? Or will Panoplosaurus claim a 2 0 win? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Acro strikes first. That could be crucial with a defense boost. Defense boost for strength and Acrocanthosaurus's well, defense. Ooh, much better showing thus far from Acro. Getting the next hit. This is a much better showing from Acrocanthosaurus. Panoplosaurus, yet to get a hit in this matchup. Tight. The Quake Saber has been triggered. Another tie. Okay, yeah, I think Acro's gonna wrap this up. 
Ooh, maybe not. A quake saber is imminent. Could that be the break Pronoclosaurus needs? Split in the acro in half. Well, it doesn't split the acro in half, but it splits the cage behind it in half. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And just like that, we are level pecking. Oh, it's game over for Acrocamphosaurus. Panoplosaurus coming from behind to win. The mole attack is going to come in, crush the Acrocamphosaurus, and end its days in this, in this tournament. As for Panoplosaurus, barging his way through to the semis. Wow, it's not been a good episode for the fire dinosaurs, has it? <laughs> three of them, three of them in this tournament, two of them are out already. We got one more fire dinosaur to feature in this map, in this video, and let's see how Gygus fares. All right then, in the red corner, in the Colosseum Arena, we've got the one and only Gygus. We got the spectral armor, of course. Not that we'll see spectral armor, but fingers crossed, maybe. Maybe if he wins this matchup and he goes, obviously goes against the Margosaurus, he'll have the type disadvantage. So. Spectral armor will probably be more likely in that matchup because Gygus will need more hits. Anyway, enough about Gygus. In the blue corner, we got a shape shifting Centrosaurid, Monoclonius. I don't even know if this dinosaur actually exists anymore, but it exists in this game and that's all that matters. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I shouldn't really make this. I should really make Monoclonius. All the centrosaurus. Okay, that's scissors. Ooh, we start with a tie. Gygus does have heat eruption to count upon if he needs it. Ooh, it's Monoclonius striking first. Galley rush coming in. The bloodthirsty Galley Mimus that sounds like a duck. It's a nightmare duck. It's going crackers on Gygus. Boosh. Oh, oh, another hit from Monoclonius. This is not a good start from Gygus. Gygus really struggling to get going. Well, you could do with a spectral armor right now. I guess if the build-up wasn't that wasn't was a bit too quick, it would probably be okay. But when you actually fight them as bosses, the bar is starts at half full, I believe. So they get the spectral armor like really quickly. Oh well, well, this is not good from Gygus, is it? A Thunder Driver coming in. Monoclonius gonna ram that single horn into Gygus's heart. Oh, well, kind of his butt. God, oh, look at it, it's like a blender. It's gonna blend Gygus's thighs and kill it. And that, my friends, is not a good start for Gygus, is it? Monoclonius, 1 0 up. Will he pull off the upset? Uh, I wouldn't count Gygus out yet. Because still, he can easily turn this around. Right, we're in the desert field this time. Gygus, can he, can, can, he, can he just get going in this match? <laughs> I'm not used to talking constantly for about 30 minutes. Even though I record, I don't record every day, but I'm just not used to talking for 30 minutes. It takes his toll on my voice. Oh, Gygus gets a hit this time. It's the Net Crusher. Boosh! A much better start from the Gygus. Oh, poison as well. That will definitely help his cause. Wow, that, that wasn't even a crit. Impressive. Gygus just giving Monoclonius a little reminder as to who he is. And I think with the poison, this will put Gygus on the brink of evening the score. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, def okay, yeah, definitely. Monoclonius. <laughs> you haven't got going yet, buddy. Okay, yeah, there it is. And unfortunately, because the Monoclonius didn't survive, I can't fill up the bar to get spectral armor. But, Gygus has even the score. Well then, you know what this means? It all comes down to this deciding round. Oh, we're in like, we're in like the plains by the looks of it. The terrain that will favour, well, lightning dinosaurs. Unless I change my mind. 
Which I have, because which I have a few times, because I haven't actually perfected the terrain advantage system yet. Ooh, Monoclonia starting strong with a hit. Hitting him with a stubby little tail. Go on, Gygus, get your act together. Oh, a tie. Oh, oh, here comes a heat eruption. Gygus heating things up. Gavro giving a big battle cry. And here comes the heat eruption. Oh no, Monoclonius. Well, none of them actually hit him directly. But he still took damage. And the poison and the volcano burst effect. Wow, that was a big heat eruption from Gygus. Okay, yeah, there it is. Quicker than you can say, Spectral Lancer. Gygus comes from behind to dispatch Monoclonius and be the only fire dinosaur in this tournament to advance to the semis. Where he will face the Amargosaurus. Now that will be a test. Right, let's quickly look at our matchups for the semi final and, and end the session. Well, here's our two matchups. We got Utahraptor going up against Panoplosaurus. Could be an even contest, that. And Amargosaurus taking on Gygus, which. This one is going to be the most interesting. We'll see if Gygus can get that Spectral Armor. If Gygus can get Spectral Armor, I think he can win that match. If not, then I think Amargosaurus is probably going to sweep him. But yeah, that is it for part one of the Spooky Showdown. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to ding the bell so you don't miss out on part two of this tournament. Thanks for watching. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.